Hey, John here. I'm going to show you a better way to practice your scales and arpeggios to make them available to you in any context. To get the most out of your scale and arpeggio practice, it's important to be able to play it starting from any root note. A lot of guitar players have a really hard time if the root isn't the lowest note of the shape. This will obviously limit the use of these shapes and make it really difficult to improvise freely. So I have a really easy solution for this and it will also improve your technique a lot if practiced correctly. I'm going to demonstrate this using three different things. It's going to be a pentatonic scale, a Lydian scale and an arpeggio. So you can see how you can apply this across the board. So let's start with the minor pentatonic. So we have this familiar A minor pentatonic shape. But I think that if you have to start this shape on any other note than the lowest note, it will not be as easy as if you start on the lowest note, if you're like most guitar players. And that's where this way of practicing comes in. So basically what you want to do, and this goes for any type of thing you're practicing, but you want to find the lowest note of whatever shape you're practicing. So now we have the lowest note here. Then you want to go up the entire shape. So we're going to go up to the top. And let's go back. And now we completed the, the whole loop here, meaning we started from the lowest available note, went up to the highest available note, uh, whether it's a root or not. And then we went back. So since this is the lowest note of the pattern, we don't need to repeat anything. And I'm going to show you what I mean by repeating things in the next root that we're going to go to. So now you want to find the second lowest root, which would be this one. And when I practice this myself, I always start on the downstroke because your picking is going to get turned around anyway. So start on this note and then I go up this, the pattern. So first off, we're going to do ascending. So I'm going up from whatever note we're starting on. So up to the top, back again. But now we're back here, but we're not done because we also need to add the notes that are below this root note. So again, if I do it from the beginning, I go past it. So I went past it all the way down. And now this note happened to be the root notes, but that doesn't really matter. So whatever, whatever shape you're doing, you're always going to go past the note you started on if you have notes available below. And it's going to get clearer as I keep explaining this, so don't, don't worry about that. You also have tabs available in the description, so you can check that out on your own time. But I'm also going to play the entire thing, starting from the lowest note, going through the entire sequence for this particular shape in the next segment. But I just want to explain it first, you know what we're doing. So, so far we've ascended from this note. <laughs> Then we start from this note. Now, do we have another root note? Yes, we do here. And more importantly, do we have a higher note than this particular root note? Because that's going to decide if you can do an ascending version or not. To, to do an ascending version of something, we need at least one note higher. Same thing when you have a descending version one, you need to have at least one note lower. But in this case, we have one note higher, so I'm going to start on the root note, go up, and then I'm going to go back. And now, as you can see, I basically have the whole scale that I haven't played yet. And you might think like, well, if you're practicing all this in sequence, you have already played all the notes of the scale. Yes, but we're treating each starting point as its own thing, so like a clean slate, because that's what it's going to be like when you play this in context, meaning that when you try to use this in improvisation or writing a solo, whatever it might be, you want to be able to see the entire shape descending and ascending, starting from any note in the shape, or in this case, any root note in the shape. So we had this ascending one, so we go up and then back, and then we add all the notes. And then end up here again. So. Now we've done all the ascending ones. Now we're going to go descending instead. So you restart on this note. But now instead of going up, we're going to start by descending. So I go back from this note. All the way back down. And then all the way back up. 
But now I need to add this note as well to make sure that I complete the shape, right? So again. So now we've done the descending version of this one as well. Now we're gonna do the same from this note. So now instead of going up like we did before, we're gonna start going down. So lowest note, go back up. And now we need to catch the other notes we missed. So this one again. And now this one, we don't have a descending one. And the reason for that is because we don't, we don't have a lower note in this position. So we can't really descend. But let's say if this was the lowest note, for example, we would be able to descend, just like we would be able to ascend from this note. So you're gonna see this when I cover the, the arpeggio and the, the Lydian scale as well. So if this seems confusing for now, don't worry, you have the tabs and I'm gonna explain the other two as well. And I think it will make much more sense when we've done that. I highly recommend using a drone while practicing this. You also train your ear to hear what you're doing. I have a drone playlist in the description below with all 12 keys for you to use in your practice. So before we go to the Lydian example, here's the complete minor pentatonic in this position played straight through the way that I suggested you practice with tabs. <laughs> The Lydian version here, we're gonna start on D. We're gonna play a D Lydian one. And I chose this in this position because now we have notes below this one. Uh, and you're gonna find that the top note is D, so we can't really ascend from that one. But we'll get to that soon. So I'm gonna start from this root note here and go all the way up in the shape because we started ascending from the lowest available root. Now I need to add the notes that I missed and then go back to where I came from. So once more. Now I found, find the next root. Do the same thing and I keep the fingerings intact as well. So if this is the second finger in the actual scale itself, I will start on that finger. So starting from here with a downstroke. Adding the notes below, going back up again. So hopefully you can see here, we always start and end on the same note. Uh, now we've covered these two. Now we have this one. And since this is the highest note of this shape, we can only do this one descending. So now our descending um, shapes are beginning. And you're gonna find that when you have the lowest note as the root of the shape and or the highest note as the root of the shape, basically a starting on that note, whether it's descending or ascending, is gonna cover the entire shape. So it's not gonna be any of this like going past the starting point and catching the other notes. So it's a bit more straightforward. We've descended from this one already because that's the only thing we could do. Now let's go back to the one we were previous and then we're gonna descend from this one, so. Go up and catch the notes we missed and then end where we started. And now we have this one. Now this is not the lowest note of the shape. It's the lowest root but not the lowest note of the shape. So now we need, we can actually do this one descending. So So I'm gonna go through the entire thing now with tabs on screen so you can see how you should practice this one.
now we've done this with two notes per string shapes in the form of the pentatonic. We've done it with three notes per string shape in the form of the Lydian scale. And now we're going to do it with an arpeggio. And we're going to do a C major 7 arpeggio. I'm not going to go through the shape here because you have that all in the tabs. So I'm just going to show you the same approach works with arpeggios as well. So in this case, C is not the lowest note. You have a, the seventh, the B as the lowest note. Uh, so that means we can do this one both ascending and descending. So I'm going to go up. That's the first version. And then we start on the next available note. And now we're going to ascend first. Catch the notes and end up in the same place. Now the highest note is the root, so we can only uh, descend here. Now we're back to this one, descending. And finally we're back to this one, but descending. Here's the whole thing again with the on-screen tabs. using a drone while practicing this you can train your ears at the same time as you train your fingers obviously you can use any drone that you want i've made my own and i left a link in the description with a playlist for all 12 keys so now it's your turn give this a try and apply it to any shape that you're trying to learn at the moment and also it would not be the worst idea to go through the ones that you think that you know as well because this one really helps you out in that department. You're going to find that when you're trying to use this stuff in your actual playing, it will be way easier to actually see the shapes. And if you've done the work with the drones, you will also be able to hear them much better. Now, if you made it this far, and especially if you're a new subscriber, just comment below, I subscribed. And also I would like to know what's your favorite pick brand. I read all the comments and if you're not an asshole, I will definitely reply to you as well.